So, Kevin, with that note on air quality, I wanted to send it over to you. By no means are we saying don't use fireworks. We're saying use the legal ones in a safe way. Yeah, and there's going to be a beautiful display at the Park at Riverwalk this year. So just forget all that and just go enjoy uh, the professionals. And again, we've had such great air quality uh, through the month of June. And let's not uh, ruin it by all these all the fireworks and the smoke. All right, let's talk about the calendar. Boy, we're filling it up. And yesterday, 90 degrees was our high. We have a few more days, and I was so hoping that we could fill the calendar up with no triple digits. That is not going to be the case because on the 30th, that is going to be the start of our first heat wave of the season. Beautiful shot out of Mount Adelaide this afternoon. Clear skies, 79 in Delano, 81 in Butt Willow, Bakersfield, 83, and then we have 60s and 70s into the mountains to Hatchby at 73, 79 out of Lake Isabella. Not a lot happening right now, but this afternoon we may see a few isolated thunderstorms along the Sierra Crest and to the east. Other than that, we're looking at clear skies for the interior part of the state. Beautiful shot out of uh, Mammoth the Village there, 69 degrees. And then take a look. This is up near Lake Tahoe. This uh, I have been monitoring for the last hour or so. Uh, I have not been able to get confirmed reports if this is a prescribed burn or if we have a small fire that's broken out near the Lake Tahoe area. So I'll be following that, but it has uh, continued to spread a little bit. So I'll keep an eye on that for everybody if you have family or friends up there. As we take a look at the thunderstorm forecast, we are looking at a slight risk of thunderstorms from parts of Mammoth all the way up to the north, and that will include the Tahoe area this afternoon. In terms of temperatures, 91 in Sacramento, 69 in Tahoe today. 93 in Fresno with upper 60s to lower 70s down to the south and where the hot temperatures are 106 in Phoenix today. Hmm, that's going to look very familiar for you soon. Here's a look at the overall future cast and you can see heading into Thursday into the weekend early next week we get this dome of hot air. This is going to expand all the way to parts of Washington and Oregon as well. So heat wave number one, June 30th, 104, the first and second right near 107, July 3rd, 104, and then slightly cooler for the 4th of July where we'll be right near 100 degrees and look at all the watches and warnings now we've not seen this so far for the hot season excessive heat warning now in place for all of Bakersfield in the valley we have a heat advisory for the Tehachapi area and all of our Kern County mountains and then an excessive heat watch out into the desert so very busy with the heat and I want to stress heat exhaustion faint or dizzy excessive sweating cooler pale skin nausea or vomiting rapid weak pulse or muscle cramps these are all signs that you should get into an AC area drink water uh, those electric Lights. Now, heat stroke, very important. We're not all used to this, and a lot of folks work outside. If you get that throbbing headache, no sweating, body temperature of 103, nausea, and you're starting to vomit, or someone loses consciousness, you want to call 911 immediately. So, just a few tips for you as we get ready for this heat. We're going to have a lot more in the forecast coming up in just a bit.